What if I told you that everything you know about science, gravity, the solar system, even the scientific method, can be traced back to a single period in history? A time when humanity shifted from superstition to reason, from blind faith to observation? This was the scientific revolution, one of the most transformative periods in human history. But how did it begin? What sparked this intellectual explosion? And who were the key figures that changed our understanding of the world? Stay with us as we explore the history of the scientific revolution. To understand the scientific revolution, we have to go back, way back, to the Middle Ages. For centuries, the dominant source of knowledge in Europe was the Catholic Church. People believed in a geocentric universe, where Earth was the center of everything, an idea promoted by the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle and later refined by Ptolemy. But as trade expanded and cultures collided, new ideas began to emerge. The Renaissance, 14th to 17th century, played a crucial role. The revival of classical knowledge, advancements in mathematics, and a growing curiosity about the natural world laid the foundation for what would come next. One key invention that helped spread new ideas the printing press, invented by Johannes Gutenberg in the mid-15th century. This revolutionary device allowed books and scientific texts to be distributed widely, fueling curiosity and debate. The first major blow to the old way of thinking came from a Polish astronomer, Nicholas Copernicus. In 1543, he published De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium on the revolutions of the celestial spheres, proposing a heliocentric model of the universe, where the sun, not the earth, was at the center. This was radical. It challenged centuries of religious doctrine and scientific belief. But at first, few paid attention. That would change in the next century. In the early 1600s, Galileo Galilei built upon Copernicus's ideas. Using one of the first telescopes, he observed the moons of Jupiter, the phases of Venus, and mountains on the moon, all evidence that the heavens weren't perfect and unchanging, as the church taught. But Galileo's discoveries were dangerous. The Catholic Church saw them as a direct challenge to its authority. In 1633, he was tried for heresy and forced to recant his beliefs. Despite this, his work continued to inspire scientists across Europe. While astronomers were revolutionizing our view of the cosmos, another key figure, Francis Bacon, was changing how we approach knowledge itself. He is often called the father of the scientific method, advocating for observation, experimentation, and logical reasoning instead of blind acceptance of ancient texts. Meanwhile, French philosopher René Descartes introduced a new way of thinking, cogito ergo sum, I think therefore I am. His ideas laid the groundwork for rationalism, the belief that reason and logic should be the foundation of knowledge. Then came Isaac Newton, the man who put it all together. In 1687, he published the Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, laying out the laws of motion and universal gravitation. His work provided the mathematical proof that the planets moved around the sun due to gravitational forces. With Newton, science had reached new heights. His principles not only explained celestial motion but also everyday physics, creating a framework that would last for centuries. The effects of the scientific revolution were profound. It didn't just change how we understood the universe. It transformed medicine, engineering, chemistry, and biology. This period laid the foundation for the Industrial Revolution and modern scientific discoveries. The methods and principles developed during this era continue to shape how we conduct research today. Every technological advancement, from space exploration to artificial intelligence, owes something to the thinkers of the scientific revolution. The scientific revolution wasn't just a moment in history, it was the beginning of a new way of thinking. It showed that curiosity, questioning, and evidence-based reasoning could unlock the secrets of the universe. So, next time you pick up your phone, watch a rocket launch, or take medicine, remember, none of it would be possible without the fearless scientists who dared to challenge the status quo. What do you think? Who do you believe was the most important scientist of the scientific revolution? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into history and science.